Uh, congratulations, uh, second time in a row, final four, a dream come true. Yes. Um, you know, this game could have went either way. This series could have went either way. You know, first game, we had to rely on Cannon to hit, you know, five, six threes. Uh, game three, Sluke is game winner to get us back here, and that's all we needed. It was a very clear series, and ουσιαστικά the πέμπτη αναμέτρηση ήταν που ο Ολυμπιακός κατάφερε να κάνει την διαφορά μετά από ουσιαστικά τρία σερή κλειστά παιχνίδια, το δεύτερο, το τρίτο και το τέταρτο. Και ουσιαστικά με τη σημερινή εμφάνιση πέτυχε τον στόχο του ομάδα του Ολυμπιακού. Tell me about the adjustments that uh, Olympiakos uh, did uh, tonight, uh, because uh, it was really obvious that it was a completely different game than the, the game two, the game three, and the game four. I think we were just being aggressive. You know, we had a lot of, we got a lot of players. We got a lot of good players. You know, they have got a lot of guys that played a lot of minutes. Um, so we just had to wear them down to transition, be physical. Um, and, you know, I'm just... I'm just happy that this is over. <laughs> Sorry about my answers. I'm just exhausted from this series. Um, going to get some well-needed rest this week, though. Λοιπόν, όπως ακούσατε και στο τέλος, είναι το έχει πλέον σωθεί η ενέργεια. Θέλει να ξεκουραστεί και είναι χαρούμενος που τελείωσε αυτή η σειρά με επιτυχημένο τρόπο. Αλλά σίγουρα η διαφορά ήταν ότι ο Ολυμπιακός ήταν πολύ επιθετικός και πολύ σκληρός από την αρχή του... Game 5 και στην επίθεση και στην άμυνα και κατάφερε να φέρει από νωρί το παιχνίδι στα μέτρα του. Let's go. Let's do a little throwback. Let's go back to January 2020. When Barjoka signed you. Of course you had dreams. Of course you had the, the, the goal to be a Euroleague player, a top Euroleague player. But could you imagine that in the next three years you would participate in two Final Fours and you would be a very strong part of this team? Um, I, I wish I could say yes, but I mean, for sure, last year in preseason, I was like, I think we're on to something. Um, and if we made it to the Final Four this year in preseason, I knew that we had the, the recipe, you know, to go back very easily. Um, but, it, you know, you got to give credit to Coach B. You know, he came and found me. He believed in me. Um, we just had a viral clip um, from last game, and a lot of people were questioning me about it. But I'm like, you know, that's like my basketball dad. You know, like, what do you want me to tell me? Shut up. Okay, let's just go play. Um, I didn't take anything from it, and he didn't either. Uh, you should see practice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. The last question that we had was on January 2020, when you were talking about the name of Jorge Barjokas. If you were to wait for three years, you would have two Final Four. The truth is that you would have to do something different, but you would have to wait for it. Because in the first time, you would have to understand that you would have to do something good, and in the first time, you would have to understand that you would have to do something good. Η ωραία του ατάκα ήρθε στο τέλο, γιατί αφού αποθέωσε τον coach Μπαρτζόκα, ε, αναφέρθηκε και στο περίφημο κλειπάκι του τελευταίου time out στο game 4. Όταν ο κύριο Μπαρτζόκα, να θυμίσουμε, ο Τόνο Ακύλ ζήτησε να πάρει τη τελευταία επίδεση με το σκορ 82-78, επέμενε αρκετά και ο Μπαρτζόκα του είπε να σκάσει. Ε, οπότε ανέφερε ο Σακίλ, ο Σακίλ Μακίση, ο Σακίλ Ονίλ, πήρα, από, ανέφερε ο Μακίση ότι. Ο Μπαρτζόκα είναι ο πασχετικό μου πατέρα και είναι πολύ λαγικό ο πατέρα σου κάποια στιγμή να γυρίσει και να σου πει να σκάσει.